Hey guys, welcome back to another video in Jenkins Automation course. Today, we will discuss how to integrate Sonar Cube with Jenkins Pipelines. We have divided this topic into two parts. In first video, we will discuss about Sonar Cube and have a 10,000 foot overview. We will not go into too much details about the Sonar Cube as this would be out of the scope of this tutorial series. We will learn how to install and start Jenkins from scratch in the second part. More on the second part, we will learn how to integrate Sonar Cube with Jenkins using various plugins and then we will execute the job. Before moving forward in this video, if you are new to channel, please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it because it will support me. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video. As you can see on my screen, we are going to discuss these five topics today. What is Sonar Cube? Why Sonar Cube? What are the benefits of Sonar Cube? Download and installation, logging in, and basic walkthrough. So let's talk about the first thing. What exactly is Sonar Cube? So Sonar Cube is an open source platform developed by Sonar Source for continuous inspection of code quality. Sonar does static code analysis, which provides a detailed report of bugs, code smells, vulnerabilities, code duplication, etc. It's basically a quality management tool. It supports near about 27 plus major programming languages through built-in rule sets and can also be extended with various plugins. So there are other versions of Sonar Cube. We'll talk about that later once we install it. Now, one should ask why Sonar Cube? So developers working with hard deadlines to deliver the required functionality to the customer it is important for developers that many times they compromise with the quality, code quality, potential bugs, code duplication and bad distribution of complexity. Additionally, they tend to leave unused variables, methods and a lot of other things. In this scenario, the code would work the desired way. Do you think this is a proper way to deliver functionality? I would say no. To avoid these issues in code, developers should always follow the good coding practice but sometimes it's not possible to follow the rules and maintain the good quality as there may be many reasons which we cannot comprehend right now. In order to achieve continuous code integration and deployment, developers needs a tool that not only works once to check and tell the problems in the code but also to track, the contr track and control the code to check continuous code quality. And to satisfy all these requirements, we have Sonar Cube in the picture. So that's the reason why we use Sonar Cube. Now people might ask, what are the benefits of Sonar Cube? So let's talk about the benefits of Sonar Cube. So let's move forward. We talked about what is Sonar Cube already, why Sonar Cube, and what are the benefits of Sonar Cube. So we'll talk about the first point, sustainability. It reduces complexity, possible vulnerabilities, and code duplication. That thus, it optimizes the life of the application. Second point is increased productivity. It reduces the scale, cost of maintenance, and the risk of application. As such, it removes the need to spend more time changing, changing the code. Third point is quality code. Code quality control is an inseparable part of the process of the pro de development. And this Sonar Cube helps in improving that. Detect errors. Detect errors in the code and alerts developer to fix them automatically before submitting them for output or for submitting them for delivery. Another point is increased consistency. Determines where the code criteria are breached and enhances the quality. Thus adding more to the quality part. Business scaling. No restriction on the number of projects to be evaluated. There are There is absolutely no restriction and you can scale it accordingly. Enhance developer skills. So when you get a regular feedback on quality problems and you'll give to the developers, they'll improve their coding skills that what has been going wrong and what can be improved. So that's the main reason and benefits of Sonar Cube. So now let's talk about the installation part. So first of all, go to your favorite browser and type Sonar Cube. Hit enter. You can write Sonar Cube download as well. Uh, the same link will come. 
click on the first link and you can see there are four options available over here community developer enterprise and data center we'll go with community because it's free you can see the version right now is 9 just scroll down and click on download for free once you have done the downloading will start just save the file depending on your internet speed it can take some time I'll just fast forward it now I have copied it into some location you can do the same what I'll do is I'll extract the zip file it can again take some time I have a lot of versions over here do not get confused I'm using the 9 version let's go inside once you go inside let me put a large icon over here go inside bin folder go inside windows x8664 because this is a windows system click over here type cmd open the command prompt let me just drag it and here you have to type start sonar.bat let me expand this so that view can be clear hit enter let's see what happens okay so it's showing some error it's saying the classified version 55.0 it means the java version is not compatible so i have a lot of java installed in my system looks like it's picking the wrong one so if you if you'll take a look at the documentation part it needs java 14.0 so what we'll do we'll just go back in the previous folder bin go inside sonar cube and look for conf folder open wrapper.conf right click open in notepad plus plus and you can see their wrapper command was there so go inside your wherever you have installed jdk do not get confused because i have a lot of jdk's installed in my system go inside bin copy this path open the notepad notepad file again and paste this path just write java in front of it because that's what's written expected now change these slashes to the expected format let me change that all of them and just save the file once you've saved the file it will get the path of java 14 and let's try to run it again let's see what happens we'll go again the again in the folder open cmd over here And now I'll hit start sonar.bat. It has started launching it. So this looks perfect. It can take some time because if it's the first time it, you, have, you have been starting it. Let me fast forward it. And it's starting and you can see process is up, sonar cube is up it means it has successfully started go back to your favorite browser and type localhost 9000 this is the default port here type admin and if i type the password admin it would be wrong i guess okay no so the old password is uh, admin and then confirm the password now if you'll update this password over here it will give you an error because you're using the old password the username is admin and the password is also admin by default so i have changed the password and i'll just update it once you have done it it will show you the view this is sonarcube 9.2 so let's walk through the projects there could be issues there are rules that can be maintained there are quality profiles that you can configure there are quality gates in this administration part so let's go back to the sonar cube now this is just an overview you can see it is embedded database should be used for evaluation purposes only so sonar cube does not come with any sql or ms sql or any kind of database it comes with a default database it's bad because it will not scale it will not support upgrading new versions of sonar cube so that's why you can uh, upgrade it in future or you can use some other kind of a database like MS SQL or some other thing. Thus, 
right now you can just have this one only because uh, for we are learning over here so that's why uh, we do not need anything to scale up or upgrade or change the database we'll talk about that later i will create a separate video for that and link it over here in in somewhere in the future so thanks guys i hope you have understood everything uh, if not please feel free to comment in the next video we'll integrate this with jenkins and then we'll run a pipeline and get the results on sonar cube which you can see on the screen the test project so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video